if I had to choose a single skill to have uh, within Cloud Code, it would be a meta skill. So a skill that would have the ability to create all the other skills because with that, everything is actually sold. So in this video, what I wanna show you is how to create a meta skill, how to uh, think about that and uh, how you can use a meta skill to create other skills uh, that automate different processes that are not only coding based, but also di directly related within your business. With that said, let's go on, let's get started. The first thing that we need to understand is what are skills and uh, how we can build skills in a manual way. So I'm in the Cloud Code documentation right now uh, under agent skills. Skills is a primitive of Cloud Code, so a main functionality that you can add. And essentially is a way to add additional capabilities to Cloud. So if you want to teach Cloud to write a newsletter, you can build a skill for that. If you want to teach Cloud to uh, understand the YouTube video, you can build a skill for that. And uh, that, those are the, the usage. Over here within the documentation, they uh, are mainly uh, focused on activities related to coding, but uh, the same way could be applied to non-coding activities. So a um, few things over here. We can always check what are the available skills within the system uh, by asking something like, what are my available skills? Um, in order to create a skill, we need to create a skill directory under .cloud slash skills. Then we need to write this uh, skill.md file, and this file essentially will be the main SOP uh, related to the skill. There will be a part at the beginning with the, the name and the description. This is, essential, this is very important because uh, uh, in this part, uh, we, um, we essentially explain what the skill does. And uh, uh, this is always uh, within the context of Cloud Code. So if, for example, we want to say uh, during a normal conversation, explain, uh, please, uh, can you explain me this code? The system will be capable of understanding that it could use this specific skill uh, only based on the description. So this is, uh, um, this is really important, especially for invoking skills. Um, and then finally over here, we have a load and verify skill and then test the skill. So this is just a very, very brief overview of that. Uh, there are a lot of different functionalities that you can have and a lot of different ways in which uh, we can use. We don't want to have a full understanding of that. We don't want to have this document in our head. We want Cloud Code to do the work for us and create the skills. So let's jump into Visual Studio Code and let's see how we can do that. Now we are within Visual Studio Code, within the business OS. Um, actually, I created a video on how to set this up and you can check it up here if you want to. But what we will be doing here is essentially ask a Cloud to review the documentation and then create a meta skill. So can you please uh, review the documentation related to Cloud Code skills and uh, create a meta skill? So essentially, I would like to create a skill that would create all the other skill. Make sure to read the documentation in depth, keep uh, all the information available and uh, create the skill in the format that is best for non-coding uh, uh, non related activity. So within this specific prompt, we will go directly into plan mode for creating this, and we will wait a second for the plan to be created. There are a few questions that are asked to me. So what are the kind of skills that I expect to create? So um, yeah, we can uh, essentially say mixed varied. We want all of those related to how should the meta skill guide the skill creation process? Um, I think over here we can do interactive. And so it will provide you a questionnaire on like what are the things that you want within the skill and then create that. Um, complexity, should generated skills include automation scripts or still pull markdown? Um, over here, I would suggest to include scripts when helpful. This is really, really important to understand what would be the actual structure of the skill itself. We have now created the plan, and um, here you can see what is the structure of the skill creator or meta skill uh, plan. So here we would have the skill.md, which is the main file. Within this main file, we would have uh, different modules that are referenced. And so module you can think about modules as uh, different uh, specific things uh, that can be done. So for example, 
Within the skill creator, we would have a questionnaire that would be asked to the user. We would have a generator would actually create the skills. We would have a template, so the reference of the different templates that are available. And then we would have templates as well. So the different kind of possible templates that we could use. And then finally, we would have examples. So this is an example of a complete skill and what are some skill patterns. All of that was done by getting the documentation for Cloud Code and then creating the actual structure itself. So right now we can go uh, accept and then we can test this out directly with a new skill. Okay, now the skill is uh, created. As you can see, uh, all the structure is created. So let's try to test this skill and uh, create something. So Hey, I like to create a new skill related to creating drafts within my newsletter. Uh, can you help me out with that? And let's go through the process for creating that fence. So in this way, I can just say, okay, I want to create a specific skill. Um, I can go directly into plan mode before the creation of the skill to make sure that I uh, go over the different questionnaire and the different things. So. Um, as you can see right now, it will read the skill file and uh, it will start to execute the actual meta skill. So the system wants to understand a couple of questions. Uh, let's say newsletter draft. That's good. What inputs do you typically use when writing your newsletter? And I provide the notes, uh, research and bullet points. And then what is the typical newsletter uh, structure? Let's say that is a single essay. So in this way also, this allows me to um, create something by specifying what I actually want and by making sure that that is adapted to my specific functionalities. So um, here we have the formats, um, storytelling, simple structure, custom. Um, let's do storytelling for now. Uh, where should the newsletter draft be saved? And uh, yeah, let's do workspace content newsletter. As you can see also, this is smart enough to understand the structure of the folders that we have. And based on the structure, it would save uh, the stuff into the related folder. So newsletter is okay. What is the tone of voice? Um, and I have a voice file, so you can also create your own voice file if you want. Let's go conversational for now. Okay, so we have a plan over here. One thing that wasn't mentioned within the plan was the actual automation of the creation within uh, the platform. And so I think uh, that is something that could be added. So we could say, please, uh, can you also add a script uh, to create the draft uh, directly within kit.com? Make sure to check out uh, the kit.com documentation. And based on that, um, create the actual script that can uh, uh, can do that. Uh, only the draft, uh, I don't want to send this, uh, thanks. So in this way, we not only focus on the creation side of the newsletter, but we also focus on the automation side. So we'll start with the um, API um, research uh, on the web, and uh, let's see what is that looking like. Okay, and now we also have this integration script that will be created. Um, here mentioned using the API. Let's also have a look at everything. And uh, yeah, user need to set a kit API environment variable with their kit.com API key. And um, yeah, other than that, it seems uh, uh, all good. So let's play on yes. Let's build the skills and then let's test this out. Okay, so everything is created here. And um, the only thing that we need to do is uh, we need to copy this file and then create an example here. We can add the kit API key and then just copy my API key from kit.com. And then we can test uh, this out. All done. The .env file was created. If you're not familiar this, uh, with this file, is a file where you contain all your API keys and all your secrets. This is something that will not be shared outside because this is really important for you to keep uh, within your system. And so right now, let's uh, actually try to create and uh, generate a newsletter. 
Hey there, I'd like to uh, create a newsletter related to how we were able to use uh, meta skills uh, in order to build uh, multiple skills directly within Cloud Code. And so I want to share this experience and I would like you to create uh, this newsletter for me. Thanks. In this way, um, there's no need for plan in this uh, use case, but we will go on and see what is the newsletter um, skill looking like. So as you can see, it immediately asked me to use the newsletter draft. Uh, we go through that. One thing that I noticed here is that this is using a voice.md, is searching for a voice.md, which is uh, essentially a, a style file. Uh, in this specific case, we don't have that, but uh, we can uh, add that. Also, one thing to keep in mind uh, for you is that skills uh, are not stacked. We can improve our meta skill if we want. We can improve all the other skills and uh, change them over time to suit our specific workflows and to suit our specific needs. Okay, so we are creating the draft over here, just a general one. No, uh, no need on my side to uh, update that. So is the newsletter draft okay? Um, if we review that, seems to be looking good. Okay, and uh, now let's uh, push this as a draft. Uh, please uh, push this to kit.com. So in this way, you can see that skills are not only a single element, but could be made up of uh, multiple elements. And also on top of that, what we can do when testing this out is seeing whether this is actually working or this needs uh, further refining. So for example, over here, um, yeah, it checked whether the kit API key was present. Uh, maybe if it wasn't present or uh, the system took the API key in a different way other than the .mv, it would have modified the kit draft.py file in order to send that out. So yeah, here's an example of uh, the file. Uh, it will run this kit.draft with a subject and with the content that we created. So let's say yes. And uh, as you can see, draft created successfully. And uh, right now let's see on uh, kit.com for, for that. So we can see what is the what is the structure and if everything went through correctly. And yeah, as you can see over here, the skill that creates the skill, this is the draft. If we are looking here, also everything is created into a specific format. As you can see here is using HTML, um, which maybe it's something to uh, that we would need to modify because uh, um, we would we would use something different instead, but like um, right now it's very, very good in terms of results. And as you can see, I just uh, said everything with my voice. Uh, I didn't use, uh, uh, I didn't use a complex automation platform. I didn't use anything. I just let the system build everything. So right now, this is uh, why I mentioned that we need to become orchestrator and build this kind of systems. Um, if you want also, there's a community in the description related to that. This is a free community. I'm trying to expand that. I'm trying to spread the voice on AI orchestrators and AI workspace builders. With that said, hope this is uh, cool. Hope uh, you like uh, everything about the video. If you want to check more about how you can build this specific structure so that you have a orchestrator structure within your code, check the first video here.